Hi guys, in today's video we're gonna do a tutorial on how to set up parental controls on Epic Games Launcher. So, the first thing we're gonna do is we're not gonna need the actual launcher. The first thing we're gonna do is go to the Epic Games site. So, just type Epic Games, click enter, go to the store.epicgames.com and we're going to go to profile which is, is uh, the upper right corner here basically go to the account wait for it to load and then we're gonna go on the left side you can see here parental controls click on that and it's gonna ask us to set parental controls pin so this is manage access to social features purchasing and game content please set a new six digit pin to enable parental controls for this account we're gonna go something very easy so one two three four five six click on create pin and it's gonna take us to this page informing us that we have parental controls so the first thing we're gonna do here is epic games payment so always require a pin for purchases using epic games payment service so when you turn it on your parental controls pin will be required to complete payments using epic games payment this setting does not affect payments made on gaming platforms such as PlayStation, Steam, Xbox, and Switch, nor does it affect purchases made with in-game currencies such as V-Bucks in Fortnite. So, if you basically if you turn it on, your child can't use your credit card, and if you turn it off, your child will be able to complete payments without a PIN. Let's go next. So. The next one is App Game Store. So require a pin to get new games rated above PG-13 or actually PG-3, PG-7, PG-12, 16, 18 or unrated. The unrated part basically means that your child can see everything on App Games and any single 18 plus game or erotic games or anything so the next one is social permissions let's go to that so require pin to add epic friends basically means that if you turn it on your child each time your child tries to send or accept an epic games friend request you will need to enter your pin if a game or service doesn't yet support the setting friend request won't be permitted this setting does, doesn't affect friends system on gaming platforms such as PlayStation, Steam, Xbox and Switch. So, Epic Games voice chat permission. So, who can your child speak with using Epic voice chat? You can go with everybody, friends or teammates, friends only and nobody. The next one is Epic text chat permissions. Who can your child message with using epic text chat? Same as the above one, but basically you can choose who your child messages and who your child speaks to. The next one is email preferences. So that's basically just manage your parental email preferences. Subscribe, unsubscribe. I would like to receive activity reports on my child's account changes. So every time your child does something to account, change your password or anything else, you get notified. And in the Fortnite settings, you can require PIN to access experience if Fortnite rated above PG3, 7 and 12. And in the Fortnite Creative and Unreal Editor for Fortnite, you can allow your child Creative Mode and Unreal Editor for Fortnite. Or you can not allow it. Basically this really doesn't matter here this part and of course mature language you can filter out mature language in epic text chat if you turn it on your child can see 
18 plus words or F words, F poems, and if you turn it off, the extract won't be filtered for mature language. Playtime tracking report, you can basically receive weekly playtime tracking reports for Epic Games on your email, which is very good also. You can see how much your child plays games or anything else. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.